Hello and Guru Scott. On this video, we're going to be changing out some of our third gen 1997 Toyota 4Runner internal switch pieces and various um, panels and, and accoutrements. So, for example, um, here's one of the old switch pieces from the rear door, and we're going to put a new one in with the uh, wood grain. Why are we doing this? Because it looks cool. Why else? It's awesome. And to do it, you're going to need some basic tools, mostly using plastic tools to get these things out. You really want to be very careful, especially on an old vehicle because they snap real easily. So um, what we'll do next is show you how to take the other rear one out and replace it with this beautiful wood grained one. Okay, so we've gotten this piece out and the way we did it was we pushed it back on this side with it all the way down and pried it up on the other side. And once we got it up just barely, we pushed on this little tab here to get it loose and it popped up. And then now all we got to do is release the tabs for this um, plug and take the switch out and we'll do that and then we'll come right back. So here's what the switch looks like with the plug still attached. I guess you can leave the plug on if you want to or if you want to you can take it off and clean it with some contact cleaner. Now's a good time to do that. So what we're going to do next is attach the new wood trim piece on and so we'll get that done and then I'll show you what that looks like. Alrighty so here's the new piece attached and we're just going to put it right in there like that push it towards the front first and then it should pop right into place just like that so there we're good to go so now we're going to do all the trim pieces and we'll show you what it all looks like when we're finished and if we have any specific issues with any particular trim piece we'll explain what we did here's the passenger side front door switch assembly same thing as the rest it just break it loose comes out easily and then now we're going to go ahead and swap everything over to the new panel. Here's what the passenger side door looks like after the installation of the switch panel, wood grain. So now we're going to move over to the driver's side and start that. All right, so we have the new piece put here on the driver's side. I do want to mention that the mirror adjustment piece has to come out from the back. You push it up through the front, up through here. And then there's also um, two screws you have to take loose here and here in order to get all this uh, assembly out. And you also have to unplug each of the items and then plug them back in when you're ready to put it back together. But not too hard if you take your time and you're mechanically inclined. So let's check out what's next. At this point, we've installed the wooden fascia for the instrument cluster. And basically to do it, you take a 10 millimeter socket and you take out, there's four bolts on the bottom panel down there and you have to take it off. You have to lower your steering wheel so you can get the old panel off. You have to use a JIS type screwdriver, um, the Japanese type, to get some of the Phillips screws out. So you'll take all of them out, take the old panel off. Then if you have an extra dimmer, you can use it to test the instrument cluster before you put the new panel in. The reason we wanted to do that was we wanted to clean all that out. So while we had it out, we went ahead and took the clear plate off of it, cleaned it really well, waxed it, put it back in, put the whole thing back together. Looks awesome. So the next thing to do is the center console and we're gonna do that tomorrow actually. So we'll be back. All right, so it's the next day. We got the center console piece in. Um, nothing real special about it. Um, it does involve a few little tricks to get it in, but I think you'll be able to figure that out. You have to take the piece of plastic out where the shifter goes in order to get the plastic console out, but mostly it's clipped in and so that's all done it looks great and that's the end of the video we did order one more piece we found that goes around where the shifter knob is but that won't be here for another week or so so we're just going to conclude the video at this point and i really love this wood grain plastic uh interior so thanks for watching choose